Hello again, we're ready for another lesson from the patient teacher. Okay, so please go there and subscribe. You can find me on YouTube or my podcast, both of the same name. Okay, so today we're going to learn the parts of speech. Speech refers to talking. Parts are the different types of words we use. Okay. So the first one is called a noun. Okay. A noun refers to a person, a place, or a thing. That would be anything else, right? Um, person meaning people. It can refer to mother or a specific person. Place could mean a city, a country, a neighborhood, or the ocean, the beach. And thing refers to anything else, right? A book, a building, okay? An adjective is the second one we use to describe the noun, right? Anything that gives us more information about the noun, right? So you could have um, a beautiful woman. That would be the adjective and that would be the noun, right? Or a handsome man, right? I used to say in my classes, or a bad teacher, right? This would make everyone laugh. Um, number three is a verb. A verb is simply an action, something we're doing. So we often use the word do. It makes it easier to remember. The verb is just whatever you're doing, right? And the adverb, you notice AD, describes the verb. Often we use modify, but it's easier for you to remember describe, okay? Um, you'll often see the adverb with the ending L-Y, right? Slowly, gently, carefully. These are adverbs describing the verb. It's how you do the action, okay? Uh, the next one is called a preposition. And this one we use... Um, very often, right? So you have to understand uh, what they are and how we use them. The four most often used or most important prepositions are in, on, to, and at. Okay? Those are the ones we use most often. After that, you'll have many others that we use that you've probably already seen. With, for, around, from, right? There's many. Just go look up prepositions and you'll see all them there, okay? We have three others, but we don't use them uh, quite as much or they're not as important. A conjunction, right? Those are and, or and but, right? Um, pronouns, we can look up I, he. It just takes the place of a noun um, and interjection, okay? But they're not as important as these, okay? Um, so any, and let me remind you, you can go, I'll put the link there, but you can go to englishclub.com look up parts of speech and they lay it out perfectly how you can see them all how we use them uh, why they're necessary in a sentence okay but it's very important for you to know the different parts of speech uh, and be aware of them and to recognize the different parts of speech okay um, the other thing we want to be aware of let me just erase this is what's called the prefix and suffix. Okay, let me write it down here for you. Prefixes and suffixes. 
these are things we add to what we call the root word. And you'll see them so often that it's important for you to be aware of them and to recognize them. If we had the root word happy, for example, okay, and we use the prefix in front of it, un, unhappy. So obviously if you think of happy being like this and unhappy like that, you could recognize pretty quickly that un means not. Right? I am unhappy. I am not happy. Um, so I'll put the link for this in the description as well. You can go and find all the prefixes and suffixes and recognize what they mean. So that if you see a new word, you can recognize, oh, I know what it means. Suffixes, the one I always use is S. So if you have the word princess or actress, you could recognize pretty quickly that S refers to woman. Okay? So keep that in mind, prefixes and suffixes and the different parts of speech. And once you use them, you'll find pretty quickly, you'll know um, how to use them, why we use them, and also that there's patterns when we use parts of speech, right? We'll have um, the noun, and in front of it, the adjective describing the noun, right? And then we'll have verb, and then after it, adverb, right? He walks slowly. This teacher speaks quickly. I often have to remind myself to slow down when I'm teaching um, so that the student can understand what I'm saying, right? And then we'll have preposition before the noun. In summer, right? to the store, right? So we have patterns that we use in sentences um, that you'll recognize pretty quickly when you start to see them, which word goes with which word um, and why. So you'll recognize that also, okay? So that's it for the parts of speech. I'll put all the links there so you can go look at them um, slowly and it and understand them at your own pace, okay? Don't for forget to subscribe to The Patient Teacher. You can hear my videos on the podcasts, and you can see this on YouTube, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.